Hey there, it's Amy from Finger Lakes Explorers. After last week's glorious day of wine, beer, and fall foliage on Seneca Lake, we wanted more. And with the weather and leaves holding out just a few more days for us, we took advantage and headed to Cayuga Lake for a little winery hopping. The Cayuga Lake Wine Trail was hosting a special trick-or-treat along the wine trail, where each wine tasting or flight you purchased included an additional wine and candy pairing. The major wine trails of the Finger Lakes often host events throughout the year, sometimes aligning with a particular holiday or time of year. And these can be a lot of fun. Not that wine tasting can ever get boring, but having themed food pairings and groups of people to compare notes with at each place definitely adds something a little different. Uh, this event was more informal than many of them, which worked out for us as this day of wine tasting was a bit of a spur of the moment, seize the fall day kind of idea. So we headed down the west side of Cayuga Lake and started our tasting at Lucas Vineyards. We got there bright and early, so it was still pretty quiet. We were quickly welcomed in and seated at a table for a wine tasting. Lucas has canned tasting options to pick from, or you can create your own tasting. I opted for the best seller's flight. Most of these were on the sweeter side, and our bonus tasting and candy pairing was an ice wine with a gummy candy. So super sweet, but a really great pairing. Wanting to make the most of the fall weather, we spent some time outside on Lucas's beautiful yard, too. There were several picnic tables and Adirondack chairs on the lawn. You can do your wine tasting outside or just grab a glass of wine and take in the view. Speaking of which, the photos really don't do it justice. Though the winery is set a ways back from the lake, the views of the rolling field, vineyards, and distant water aren't shabby at all. On to stop number two, Thirsty Owl. Thirsty Owl's property is closer to the lake and offers some incredible views, both inside and out, especially this time of year. Even the short trip down the driveway was beautiful, with golden vineyards on one side, colorful trees, and the lake just beyond. We decided to first grab lunch at Thirsty Owl's Cafe and take in some of the views from their outdoor seating. They had plenty of options on both a covered deck and a large lawn. Our bellies full, some of us stayed outside to enjoy a glass of wine with a view, while others opted to head back inside for a wine tasting at the bar. We were really taken by the knowledge of the servers here. They knew their wines and could answer any question we threw at them. It was a fun and tasty tasting. All in all, we had a great time at Thirsty Owl. Good wine, good views, and good people. We're looking forward to going back. Continuing north along the lake, we headed to our next stop, 680 Cellars. It was our first time visiting, with the winery having just opened last summer, but we'd heard lots of rave reviews already, so we were excited to check it out. The tastings at 680 are seated and are currently being held in the production building. Each table is offered a charcuterie board to pair with the wines. What sets 680 apart is their use of clay, terracotta, and sandstone vessels rather than traditional oak or steel. They definitely create a unique flavor. We were able to sample some of their 2020 Pinot that was aged in sandstone and compare it to the same wine aged in oak. It was fascinating to taste the differences. Our server here was incredible and guided us through the tasting experience so adeptly. In fact, I was so wrapped up in the wine here I forgot all about the candy pairing. 680 also has some incredible views from their outdoor lawn. You can enjoy a glass or bottle of wine out there and soak in the lake scene. Last but not least on our tour was Buttonwood Grove Winery. We have always loved Buttonwood for their relaxed atmosphere, good wine, and beautiful outdoor spaces. It was the perfect place to wind down our day with one more glass of wine. What a fun fall day exploring wineries on Cayuga Lake. What are some of your favorite wineries to visit on Cayuga Lake? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.